Okay, so I admit it, I cheated. is uh, adjusting the fall of leaves onto this wonderful carpet of moss that runs along this bank here. I couldn't find one leaf on its own or indeed a composition I liked but there was one leaf with I think it was two other leaves so I just moved the two other leaves and um, I got the isolation I wanted. Is that wrong? Is that messing with nature? Well, if you think it is, let me know down in the, the comments. And if you think it isn't, let me know down in the comments. I think it's perfectly okay. We're at the end of the year. These things are going to be pushed around by wind and animals and all of us walking around them and such. So why can't I just pick one up um, or two and sweep them uh, just gently out of the way? I'm not causing any damage or anything that would not naturally happen just with the blow of the breeze. Now, if I was to pull something up, different matter. But I think moving branches and, and such out of the way, or, or perhaps even putting them in the way to create the image that you want is perfectly fine. But have a discussion down below by all means. Anyway, here's the shot. I hope you like it. It's all about the colour. It's uh, colour and texture. Isn't that what we love in woodland? I've just done a five minute piece of camera and uh, it looks as though I really screwed it up because whilst I was recording audio, I think I was recording audio, uh, doesn't look like I pressed record on uh, the, uh, the video camera which is um, dumb as hell. But, you know, it's kind of mistakes we make sometimes isn't it? Anyway, I'm going to try the, um, a shot of the same tree again from a different angle so uh, maybe I haven't missed anything at all. Right, well the reason I was trying to get another shot of this tree because I thought there were three kind of trunks to it because from my point when I was filming or I thought I was filming over here it looks like there are but in actual fact the trunk just splits into two closer to the bottom and uh, and then kind of splits again further up but from this angle it looks like there's there's three, as you can see up there, it kind of forks out again, and that from back there, it might just be my eyesight because of, because of these damn things, or rather, not because of them, but I'm known enough. Uh, but air, yeah, so again, if we kind of come over here, you can kind of see further up there, it looks as though there's another trunk, and it looks like it's been hidden behind the one uh, on, the, on the left here. I'm going to put it up on screen because I don't think I'm going to get another one. And uh, apologies for um, for not you know to show you the uh, the making of this shot because uh, I muffed it up. After the fiasco of the last shot that I recorded, where I didn't record it, I thought I'll get this going much earlier. I've already shot this scene here once and I did it handheld. And the reason I'm going again is um, partly one to film it. <laughs> this is the way these kind of uh, vlogs go, you know, if, you, if you've never made a vlog before uh, 
and you want to get the b-roll and you want to get everything in to kind of show uh, what you're talking about rather than just tell uh, there's a lot of toing and throwing if anyone's ever done any TV you can spend hours just on yeah a, a 30 seconds clip sometimes this is kind of normal uh, anyway the shot is I don't know I don't know what the shot is I don't know whether it's any good I'm always doubtful uh, and uh, I always get home and I look at these shots and I think why the hell did you shoot that? And here, now I'm not hand-holding it, I'm seeing something that I didn't see before. It might be because before perhaps I had the camera lower. So we're gonna try that. But what I have is up at the top of the shot is the canopy off this tree that I'm standing under, kind of getting in the way and interfering. Now, I'll be honest, whether or not that is a genuine issue i'm really not sure and lord knows how much lower i need to get in order to achieve complete avoidance of it i think i may just have to accept it i am so uncertain of this i like it because there's yes yeah, nice color going on we've got this wonderful yeah leaf carpet below us we've got some regression with some light back there no no real atmosphere i mean it, it's damp and there's threats of uh uh, of rain but it's getting on in the day as well let's be honest it's nearly three o'clock uh, at the beginning of November I'm not sure I'm really not sure I've got this on a two second timer uh, wide angle lens and I'm in at uh, 35 mil here f4 to defocus the uh, uh, the area that I'm not focusing on I'm hoping that's going to be enough. It might be appalling. I don't know. What I do know is I'd like you to let me know what you think of it. Because uh, by no means am I convinced at this stage. Ah, yeah, and I, I cheated on this one as well. In the first handheld shot that I got when I reviewed it, I spied a, uh, a bit of a um, fallen twig on this fallen mossy rotten branch down here. And it kind of, uh, it glued, I didn't glue, glue, glue is the wrong word. It glowed, that's it. It glowed a little bit uh, on there. So I came back and I removed it. And uh, is that cheating? It's not cheating, come on, let's face it. Uh, it's still in the woodland somewhere. It's still gonna rot down and become uh, and remain uh, part of the woodland habitat. So, I mean, it's still here. I just, uh, it, I just moved it from, from there. Right, well, I've got another uh, shot here. It's the same tree, but looking through the tree that I've stood beside before. But what I've got here also is a bit of interference from this and, and this, and I need to try to get it out. I don't know what the shot's gonna be like, um, but uh, I'm, again, on the subject of cheating. So I've hooked up the phone to the camera, so I've got a live view on the phone, and I'm really just trying to get these completely out of the way here. And, oh heck, come on, come on. There we go, and I'm gonna just press a button, and um, I've got a shot. I think it's all right. Um, it's better without these, there's no two ways about it. And uh, I'm just, I'm doing my, no more than the wind would normally do, am I? Yeah, just moving them out of the way for the second or so. That I mean, they're not entirely out of the way, actually. Maybe that one and that. Yeah, I think that's better. There you go. Let's see what that's like. You know, sometimes I think I just try a little too hard to make or illustrate a point in some of these videos. I think that uh, last 
photo is um, a good example of it. I think it's just contrived tat. You may have a different opinion, please do let me know down in the comments. But regardless of what your opinion of it is, I think the point that I'm trying to make here still stands. The question remains, is rearranging things a little cheating? How far should you go to rearrange uh, an outdoor natural scene to meet your demands, your requirements? For me, I think the limit is undue damage. So let's explore this word undue. Whenever we or anything else comes to that walks into the woods or through the woods, it's causing some form of damage, some kind of disturbance. It's, um, how do we put it? Uh, it's moving things. I mean, let's face it, it's moving things. And that's part of our interaction with the natural world. Through moving things, we are almost certainly breaking things under our feet. We don't know what insects we might be treading on. We don't know what mushrooms we might be moving and damaging. We don't know what seedlings we might be moving and damaging. Yeah, just what is the, uh, yeah, what, where, where do you kind of stop this? We can't not interact with our natural world, yet by doing so, we're disrupting things. But there's, also, I suppose, an argument that you are um, helping things on because it's a natural process, I suppose. Now, I'm no uh, qualified naturalist. In fact, I'm not a naturalist at all. I'm not qualified to make the argument for or against this. Uh, I'm just using a, a little bit of logic. So I do not know whether or not uh, my argument stands up uh, in, uh, in science. But as things move through the forest, things move. So, um, yeah, we can't argue against walking in the forest and causing a bit of damage there. So what about moving a fallen log out of shot or a, a leaf that I've uh, done here and twigs and such uh, in, this, uh, in, in this shoot? Well, again, we're talking about some, moving something within the ecosystem that it exists in. So long as we don't remove it, surely that's okay. What about moving branches and living uh, items within the woodland around. I argue that as long as you don't damage it, that's fine as well. This is something I do a lot. I mean, I've taken it to extremes in this video to illustrate a point, but often when Nikki's with me, uh, Nikki has a, a, a walking pole often, and I'll tell you, that is so, so useful for uh, just kind of hooking things and moving them out of the way, and she's a, very much a willing participant. So uh, if you've got a, um, uh, a monopod or you walk with a, a, a stick or you're hiking poles and things like that, these are remarkably useful things for just kind of getting a bit of foliage out of the way uh, of your shot and just clearing the lens's view straight to your subject. I think that's a perfectly reasonable and legitimate thing to do. But again, you may disagree and uh, I'd be interested in your comments down below. Breaking things? Oh, that's dodgy territory, isn't it? Um, now, I'm probably going to be flamed for this, but I do not feel that breaking something that is the end of its life cycle is a bad thing to do. Now, obviously, I need to qualify that. I think uh, so if we're in kind of autumn, winter and uh, we get a bit of um, uh, grass that's just beginning to rot down or uh, maybe a, a, a a, a teasel or, or something like that and just get it out of the way which may require snapping the stem it's going to end up in the rotting undergrowth at some point anyway so I, to a degree I think we're accelerating that process and I'm 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 slightly uncomfortable with it but not so much that it would uh, stop me doing it on the odd occasion wanton vandalism different matter I mean, it's not as though any of us are walking into the uh, the woodland with a chainsaw or secateurs here. I hope you're not. Removing or moving a piece of natural yearly dieback is the kind of borderline acceptance of, uh, of this. And I certainly wouldn't want to go any further than that. But yeah, what's, uh, what's your view on all this? Do let me know in the comments down below. 
So this last scene uh, that you saw wasn't the last shot I took that day, but it was the last shot that I filmed. The reason was that the weather was beginning to look a little dodgy, so I uh, decided that I was going to pack up and, uh, and head back to the car, which wasn't that far away, but I didn't want to get wet. But the weather cleared a little on the walk back, and uh, going uh, back almost in the same uh, way as I came, I ended up in the kind of valley that uh, I started in almost, uh, very close to the road, uh, just a little further up the hill. And uh, it, it kind of just nicely funnels down, and it's it's very nice. And the sun just managed to break through the cloud a little. I didn't know, of course, how long this sun was going to last. Lovely and golden as it was, I I panicked. It was a, an obvious uh, composition, really simple, just nicely funneled uh, into uh, a, a, a a shot. You know, it's it was well. Have a look uh, for yourself. And it's the only shot out of this entire set today that I didn't tidy up. Don't forget, if you've liked the video, please, please click the like button. Leave me a comment down below. Uh, it's nice to get your comments and I'll, I'll respond to all of them. Thank you very much. Subscribe if you haven't already. And be assured that no twigs were harmed in the making of this video. Okay, one or two. But they were dead and they were in my garden. So, all good. See you next time.